Mr. Brown, you're the lousy hack that shut your woman down. Boom. Hello, everyone. It's Charlton. So, um, Trump is going to change the 14th Amendment, man. And, uh, yeah, this is pretty big news. Axios on HBO, I don't exactly know what this is, but they're the ones he gave an interview to. I know Axios, I know that woman, I forget her name, she's on Hannity all the time. She gets a lot of, uh, you know, because the Trump administration, I think, uh, likes her. She gets a lot of uh, a lot of scoops. Anyways, he's sitting He's sitting here saying he's, uh, he's talked to his lawyers and that it can be done to change the 14th Amendment. What is the 14th Amendment? I was vaguely familiar with it, everybody is. You know, it's the whole anchor baby thing. And I don't know if that's considered a derogatory term or not. But it's basically if you're born in the country, um, you're uh, you, you're automatically a citizen. I used to actually like this uh, idea. And I'll explain. It's the four, But it's gotten completely abused just because it was very absolute. And there was just, you know, you know. You're born here, you're a citizen. I kind of like, I like, I like absolute things that are just kind of real clear like that, you know, but it's gotten totally abused and it's not just people coming across the border to, in, you know, intentionally to get born here, but it's people, you know, setting up businesses, you know, promoting it. I mean, it's like promoted out in the open where like they have like uh, publication, you know, ads and publications stating of, you know, how they do it better than anybody else, you know, and, and you'll be comfortable in your stay and stuff like that. To the to all parts of the world, I think, you know, there was recently in New York, they had like a daycare set up. I, I remember seeing that story. It's like, why do they have daycare? And they're there at two in the morning. And it's because it turned out that that's basically, it was one of those operations where, you know, they would house people for a number of weeks until they were ready to deliver their baby so that the baby would become an American citizen and, and allow, them, allow them living conditions and stuff like that. But there's other things, too. I know there was – I've seen promotion stories about promotions to the Middle East, you know, Saudi Arabia, whatever. I mean just – I don't know why that country jumps out into my head. But so uh, it's obviously gotten way abused. And actually um, – my, it's off topic, my wife's family came, came the, the remainder of uh, uh, somebody they've been trying to get into the country legally, legally, legally for like 15 years came last night. It was a huge surprise. I thought it was an anniversary dinner that we were all attending and uh, it turned out that they were able to get it done. They were at, through the legal immigration process and it was basically a 15th year thing in the making. And the travel ban basically had totally screwed them, but they were e actually able to make their way through it, even with the travel ban in place, and follow the rules, use a lawyer, and do exactly what was needed to get them uh, here. And they have their all their stuff, man. And it's uh, it was really an emotional night. So um, that's that's uh, you know. Well, I'll talk more about that. It's my wife's Persian, and. Um, you know, I don't need to go into my whole family history and stuff. So, back to Anchor Babies and uh, the 14th Amendment. The 14th Amendment was originally written. Um, it wasn't to serve for the purpose it's used today. People like say what I just said, that I like the fact that if you're born here, you're automatically a citizen. I kind of like that, actually, idea. Just because it's very, you know, it's very clear. You know? uh, but... It was originally written for because of slavery. I mean, that's basically after the after the Civil War, you know, the fear was that states were going to write laws that basically didn't allow slaves to be citizens, you know. And so in order to basically put something in federally in place, you know, that just prohibit, you know, made it absolutely clear that uh, every person here, including people that were former slaves, are citizens. And you cannot take that away. You cannot write laws into your state state, you know, constitution or whatever to, 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 to undo that, that's where the 14th Amendment came, came to be. That's I'm generalizing, but I'm fairly certain that that's basically the whole premise of it. It was just to make sure that, um, you know, other states couldn't try to make us people that were formerly slaves not citizens. And uh, so it's not, you know, it's not, it's not any other purpose but for that. So it may, you know, it's sort of out of uh, obsolete to some extent. But here is the clip of Trump saying he, uh, you know, he's you know, spoken to his lawyers and he can do it. And, um, you know, I like Trump. All right. I like Trump quite a bit. I really do. 
But I've, I've been thinking about this. I promise I'll play the clip. It's only like a minute long, and I'm only going to play a certain portion of it for, 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 for normal reasons. But I've been thinking about it, and I've, thought, I've had this thought for such a long time. And, and, and everybody does it. Trump, too. And I, and I don't begrudge him for doing it. Do whatever you need to do to, to win politically. And, th and he understands that. He understands that better than anybody. But actually, you know, some of these other, some of these other previous Republican politicians, the Bushes, the establishment, and stuff like that, they didn't care about winning. You know, I mean, it really didn't matter. I mean, as long as they were in office, that that's what they cared about. You know, so I think Trump cares about both, about winning and being in office. But a lot of these issues, just just think of it this way: basically, any issue where a politician can get you to write a check, you know, in the form of a, you know, a campaign donation, you know, or just, you know, basically that. And, and on, uh, but doesn't have to do anything to do to get you to write a check. That's a great issue. Okay. And that's where, and this is on both sides. Okay. Barack Obama, D Trump, any, you know, and it doesn't, and race is a huge issue for that. Huge. You know, and it, it just stores up a lot of emotion and feelings on both sides, on the Barack Obama side and the Trump side, and gets people to write a check, all right? And, and basically, neither one, Barack Obama or Trump, really has to do a whole lot, much, in, in the fact, in, in terms of results. It's tr actually, you know, Trump actually is doing some results. He wants to build a wall. He wants to do some concrete things. And he actually is doing a lot of things he said he would do. So he's a little different. But I'm just saying in general. My point is like, and I promise I'll get to the clip, you know. But my point is that like that, those are the best issues. Like gay marriage. Gay marriage was a, I mean, because the gay community has tons of money. Very successful community. Very wealthy community. And because you really, that's all you have to do is basically legalize gay marriage. I mean, in terms of. The amount of results you have to produce, but you get to get a oh, ton of donation checks, you know, for not doing much in return is a great issue. Great issue. Climate change, another one. If, if climate change, if climate change didn't require you to get out your checkbook, there would be no such thing as climate change, okay? And uh, so that's another one. But it's so impossible to define and actually measure and, and it's so, you know, just so obscure and, and, and you know, the, the science isn't completely agreed on. Even in terms of just affecting results, you, you don't really need to really do anything. But it gets people, you can get people, because they believe deeply in it, to, to write a check. So anything that allows you to get, gets people to write a check and you don't even have to produce any results for it. That's where those are great issues. Race falls in that. That issue, that issue, and this kind, of, this isn't race, but I mean, it has to do with immigration, which sort of necessarily brings a, a racial um, aspect to it. You know, my light is just terrible. Such a turkey. All right, here's the uh, here's the video. Constitutional amendment. Right. Guess what? Amendment. You don't need it. Number one. Number one, you don't need that. Number two, I mean, that's, in dispute. You could definitely that's very do, much in dispute. Well, you can definitely do it with an act of Congress. But Council? Yeah, I have. So where in the process? It's in the process. It'll happen. With, with an executive order. That's what you're talking about, right? Yes. Dude, it'll happen. I mean, he sounded pretty sure of himself, but, you know... Um, we'll see. He's definitely going to bring this, bring this, bring this forward and... Uh, you know, just sort of keep in mind what I was saying before. I like Trump. I like Trump a lot for many, many reasons. I look freaky in this, man, with that light. It's making that double chin. All right, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.